Do men have porn brain today? Women are desperately wondering where all the good men have gone. So where have they all gone? The majority of men are away at war, waging a battle for their neurology, relationships, and the essence of their soul. Men are being overwhelmed by the onslaught of the pornography epidemic taking place today, and it is not even a fair fight. Regularly engaging in pornography literally hijacks our brain and transforms it. In fact, the latest science shows that the brains of regular pornography users is smaller and has fewer connections in the reward and motivation location of our brains called the striatum. Additionally, the dopamine levels and number of receptor sites for regular pornography users are depleted to the same chronically low levels as those experienced by cocaine and morphine addicts. In fact, the brain cannot even differentiate between a physical addiction to a drug or alcohol and a neurological addiction to the super stimulus of pornography. Alcohol, drugs, food, and pornography are all dopamine addictions to our brain. Our brain cannot tell the difference between our real connected partner and pornographic pixels on a screen. While we may consciously rationalize and minimize pornography as a harmless fantasy, every time we do release our semen to novel pornographic imagery, our brain actually thinks this is real. Our brain kicks into overdrive, thinking that we are waging a highly successful campaign of sexually mating and spreading our maximum genetic diversity with the wide range of dozens of sexy novel mates. Pornography is what is called a super stimulus because it combines two very powerful forces together. The first powerful force is novelty. Due to the endless free internet pornography that is at our fingertips today, we are able to select unique imagery that is perfectly geared to arouse our own specific neural arousal pathway. As soon as our neurology is satiated by one set of specific pornographic imagery, a brand new set of imagery can instantly replace it. This has never existed before in the hundreds of thousands of years of human experience and history. We are living in an extremely rare time with the great pornography experiment. The problem is that each time we release our semen to novel pornographic imagery, our dopamine levels and receptors are canceled out due to the superhuman graphic nature of pornographic imagery. This forces us to escalate the graphic nature of the pornographic imagery perpetually in order to receive the same dopamine hit as we received before. Inevitably, we lose arousal to all pornographic imagery as well as to our real connected partner. The second powerful force that combines to make pornography a super stimulus is semen release. I purposely use the term semen release rather than ejaculation. In Tantra, we regularly practice full body orgasms and ejaculation, but without semen release. We can actually experience increased sexual sensitivity, satisfaction, potency, performance, and prolongment by practicing semen retention. All we are doing is blocking the actual semen from being released. We can simply practice Kegel flexing exercises to keep the semen from being released. The reason semen release is such a powerful force is because our semen is essentially liquid gold. Our semen contains a rich concoction of all the most precious growth factors, hormones, and nutrients from within our body. It needs to be extremely rich and powerful because our semen holds enough creative life force to create new life. Just one ejaculation of semen contains enough sperm to potentially populate the entire United States. Now that is immense power. Releasing our semen depletes our chi sexual energy. Chi sexual energy is both our sexual as well as our physical life force that moves through us. Dopamine is our arousal neurotransmitter and hormone. We absolutely must have 
healthy levels of dopamine and receptor sites to get aroused and stay aroused, to gain an erection and maintain an erection, as well as to have drive, determination, motivation, and will in life. Releasing our semen to pornography or to our real connected partner immediately triggers a powerful and intense neurological, physiological, and mental refractory period and process of replenishment in which dopamine levels crash and prolactin levels rise. This causes intense mood imbalance, fatigue, and distancing in the relationship. This crash is most intense for the first few days, but continues to weave up and down for two weeks. This dopamine crash is so uncomfortable that many men seek to alleviate their symptoms by releasing semen again. In the same way as an alcoholic seeks dopamine relief by drinking to suppress the pain of a hangover, or a drug addict seeks dopamine relief during withdrawals. Again, these are all major dopamine addictions with major dopamine cycles and symptoms of imbalance. Men do have porn brains today on an epidemic scale because they are experiencing a major dopamine addiction. Our brains are incredibly plastic, constantly molding to the neural pathways that we select and choose to engage in. When we consistently engage in the super stimulus of pornography, we literally rewire our neurology to only get aroused to specific novel pornographic imagery. At the same time, we desensitize our arousal for our real connected partner, replacing that arousal with pornography alone. However, this arousal displacement is constantly evolving and never static as we continually displace our arousal with escalating pornographic novelty. Inevitably, our dopamine neurotransmitters and receptor sites reach such low levels that we can no longer get aroused to our real connected partner, any form of pornography, and life itself. We become dopamine and energetically flatlined. This combination of depleted dopamine levels and receptors, as well as depleted chi sexual energy, inevitably leads to what is called porn-induced erectile dysfunction, or PIED, for men, and porn-induced arousal dysfunction, or PIAD, for women. This is the fastest growing segment of ED we see today, and a predominant one. PIED and PIAD can happen to anyone with a brain or neurology, which is everyone. It happens to men and women, young and old. In fact, PIED has skyrocketed in young men who are physically healthy with perfectly healthy blood flow. PIED and PIAD do not differentiate between genders and age because this is what I call an arousal displacement dysfunction. It has absolutely nothing to do with blood flow, which Western medicine and the pharmaceutical industry want us to believe. Western medicine and the pharmaceutical industry only have one limited tool for all forms of ED, which is blood flow inducing pharmaceutical drugs. These nitric oxide inducing pharmaceutical drugs were actually discovered by accident, but now prescribed as a panacea for any form of erectile dysfunction. 80% of men and 26% of women engage in pornography at least once a week. So where have all the good men gone today? The majority of men are undergoing a massive experiment on their minds, neurology, and energy sources within. An experiment farther reaching and more destructive than any experiment that we have seen before and threatening to tear apart the very fabric of our civilization, our relationships, our neurology, and our sexual health. Men are experiencing a massive dysfunction, neurologically, sexually, physically, energetically, and relationally. The horrific and terrifying results of this two decade long great global experiment has come in. We are seeing an entire generation of young men experiencing an explosion of porn-induced erectile dysfunction, unable to have the first sexual experience of their lives, 
and incapable of any meaningful, intimate relationship. The neurology of men engaging in pornography truly believes that they are gaining satisfaction and success with dozens of the most gorgeous women of their dreams. In reality, while their heads are buried in their virtual devices, lost in a mirage, a void, a vacuum, those same women that they think they are having so much success with are passing right by with no magnetism or attraction towards them. Women can sense and sniff out a man who is lacking in magnetism, drive, determination, connectivity, emotional intelligence, passion, and success. The epidemic of pornography afflicting the majority of men today robs them of who they are truly meant to be in life, as well as the optimal partners they are meant to attract in life. The definition of mating behavior is to spread maximum genetic diversity through novel mate selection. This leads to an objectification of women, reducing unique and sacred beings down to sexualized body parts with the heart and soul extracted from the transaction. Men are regularly practicing and perfecting mating behaviors to toxic proportions, and then transposing this into their relationships. This leaves women with two options. Women can go along with these toxic mating behaviors, pretending to support this pornographic addiction. I can assure you that this will end in the destruction of the relationship in any meaningful, connective way. Instead, I strongly suggest women set clear and powerful boundaries with their partner, which states that pornography use and toxic mating behaviors based on unbridled, climactic-driven sex as the singular, soul-focused goal, absent of any bonding behaviors, will not be tolerated. Men must make these simple yet profound sexual behavioral changes, or the relationship will be terminated full stop. There is no other way to preserve a long-term, meaningful, loving, connected, intimate relationship or marriage. Trust me, men need this boundary because they are unable to help themselves or even aware that they are in dysfunction on every level. Let's imagine for a moment that your partner is an alcoholic, causing all kinds of dysfunction in the relationship at work, with children, friends, finances, or opportunity squandered. Would you just sit by and do nothing about it? No, you would not. You would demand that your partner go to Alcoholics Anonymous and quit drinking or you will end the relationship. Well, pornography addiction is the same degree of dopamine addiction as alcohol, cocaine, and morphine. There is no difference in the degree of destruction that pornography addiction causes. You must demand that your partner go to nofap.com, that's N-O-F-A-P.com, and get the support needed with a coach. There is an entire world of support available. You must demand that they seek it out. Do not settle for a partner with an escalating porn brain. Do not settle for a sexual life of pornographic, toxic mating behavior. You and your partner deserve to have the relationship you are truly meant to have in life. Your partner deserves to become the ideal being they are truly meant to be in life. For those regularly engaging in pornography, this is my message to you. Live without fear. Stand up for your ideal life, your vision, and your joy in life. It is your birthright. God is cheering you on with tears of joy as you grow to become your ideal self with rewarding, deep and meaningful relationships. God was absolutely crucial to guiding me out of my own pornography addiction when I was completely lost without any plan on how to heal my PIED. We are here to grow, evolve and heal. God is always here to guide and help us when we need it the most. You cannot do this alone without God. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to catch the next video.